Hey there and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ali Smalls and in this video we're in Las Vegas. We're staying at three different hotels on this trip and trying the $20 trick at each of them to see how it works. So if you don't know about the $20 trick in Las Vegas, what happens is when you check into your hotel, you give the person at the front desk your ID and your credit card along with a $20 bill or more if you want and just simply ask, is there any chance for an upgrade or are there any complimentary upgrades available? Something along those lines. Then at that point, they usually try and see what they can do to maybe get you in a nicer room or a room on a higher floor or a room with a better bed set up or something like that. Now, a lot of people are worried, what if I give the $20 and they actually don't have an upgrade for me and then I'm out $20? So that's what we're trying in this video. We're staying at three different hotels to see how well this $20 trick actually works here in Las Vegas. The first hotel we're trying this at is at the El Cortez downtown Las Vegas. Just finished checking in at the El Cortez Hotel. Now I tried the $20 trick. What I did was I handed the lady at the desk my ID and my credit card along with the $20 bill and I just said, is there any chance we can get an upgrade today? So at that point she checked what we originally booked and what she had available. What we originally booked was a king bed. She had us on the sixth floor. She did have a 12th floor room with a view of the strip but it only had two queen beds. So she said, it's up to you which one you'd like to take. We opted to go for the king bed that we originally booked because my husband's six foot nine, so we need a king bed. And at that point she said, okay, no problem. She handed us the $20 bill back and said, I couldn't upgrade you today, so don't worry about it. And she just slipped the $20 bill back. So I would say this technically worked. Even though we didn't get an upgrade, we also didn't lose our $20 bill. arrived at the Sahara. Let's go check in, see how it goes. So we checked into the Sahara Hotel last night. It was a little later, I think it was about 9.30 p.m. They were completely sold out of the rooms that we had originally booked. So at that point I hadn't asked for an upgrade yet because I knew there was like very few rooms available. The gentleman who checked us in was very nice. He was looking to see what he could do for us, but all he had was these two queens. That's when I put a $20 bill on the counter and I said, so is there anything else you can do for us today? He said, let me see what I can do. So he put a $60 credit on our room to be used at any of the restaurants or bars in the hotel. And he gave us two drink tickets worth $16 for a drink at any bar. Did the $20 work for us? Kind of. We didn't get a room upgrade, but we did get a lot of other perks. So I think this one was a winner.
Okay, so we just checked into our room at Ellis Island. I tried the $20 trick again. And this time there were no upgrades. The only upgrade available was a queen room that was slightly bigger, but again, we booked a king room. So we decided to decline the upgrade. And the gentleman at the front desk, he didn't keep the $20. He actually just applied it to the rest of my bill. So I still consider this one a win. We didn't get the upgrade, but I didn't lose the $20. Well, there we have it. We tried the $20 trick at three different hotels in Las Vegas, and I would say it worked every time. There were upgrades available if we wanted them, and when we didn't want the upgrade, we got our money back. So, I think it worked. Now, there are instances where you might be more successful with the $20 trick in Las Vegas. So here's a couple of tips if you want to try it yourself. Usually it works the best when you're only staying at a hotel for one or two nights. You also might have a better chance at getting a free upgrade if you're staying sometime during the week. So anywhere from Monday to Thursday night. And it's always better to try it right at the check-in hour, so usually around three or four o'clock. Sometimes when we've shown up at nine or 10 p.m., just the way our flight has worked out for the day, and we show up later in the evening, sometimes they're already sold out of their best rooms and we haven't been able to get an upgrade checking in that late. So usually it's better to do it if you can check in right at that three, four o'clock hour. So let me know in the comments, have you tried the $20 trick? Would you try the $20 trick? Are you totally not comfortable trying the $20 trick? Let me know. I hope it works out for you. Thanks for watching.